We were told that quantitative easing was a temporary measure uh, just to uh, buy a bit of time so we could structurally fix some of the problems in the economy. It turns out quantitative easing has been here to stay. Uh, what are the uh, ramifications of that uh, and, and where do we stand today with so much money printing and asset purchasing? Well, basically we're engaged in one of the biggest uh, monetary experiments in the history of mankind and ultimately uh, what we're seeing is the greatest degree of currency debasement in the history of mankind and that's what we'll be seen for in time. Uh, but many of us warn that this is a short-term panacea uh, and it should not be used uh, on an ongoing basis to support the financial system. But in fact, that's what has happened over the last 10, 12 years. And now what's happening is it's shocking that they're actually engaged in quantitative easing to buy not just government bonds. Uh, and, and, you know, you, you can understand that uh, in support of the sovereign debt market, but when they're going in buying junk bonds and they're buying ETFs and they're buying shares of companies, is, you know, companies that are actually in difficulty, uh, that's now trying to prop the entire economy, uh, not, not just uh, systemically important banks. So the ramifications are just, uh, ultimately it's going to lead to currency debasement and massive currency devaluations in the coming months and years. And the bottom line is what they're doing is, I mean, you're talking about trillions and trillions and trillions. And, and, and when I started in the, this business in 2003, you know, a billion was a big number. And, you know, we used to talk about millionaires uh, and we used to talk about millions and billions. And then we started talking about trillions more recently. Uh, and a trillion is one with 12 zeros after it. So it's one zero 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 zero. <laughs> it's a very, very big number, you know, and people, we lose track of the, the scale of these numbers, you know, and, 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 and the word trillion sometimes isn't even used now. They just write a, a dollar symbol on a one and a small little T beside it, you know, um, and it's much more powerful than people.